safety position, will come up and play linebacker. He also is a running back. First and 10 for the Red Raiders. It's Davies, excuse me, Rosa and Robert Flores in the backfield behind Scott Spears, and it's Flores. And he picks up good yardage inside the 25-yard line. Alex Cabrero, our sideline reporter. Alex, what do you have? Ed, both Port Jervis and Warwick are basically the same types of teams we remember when we covered them earlier this year. However, in this game, there is a different element, and that's AstroTurf. Deed Stadium here in Kingston is the only field in Section 9 to use the artificial surface. I asked both coaches if they thought that would affect their team in any way, and they said no. Warwick coach Greg Sirico says, if anything, it'll help his team because you can use, you can cut better, and make better moves on the surface. That is, if it stops raining. If it rains, things are going to get interesting here. Back upstairs to you. Thank you, Alex. George Rosa, first down run for the Red Raiders to the 17-yard line. First down for Fort Jervis. They have, as we look at the officials, Dennis Geisler is your referee, Mike Mosier, the umpire, Vern Piantanita, the linesman, Bob Sudlow, the line judge, and Todd Boyd is your back judge. First and 10 at the 17 for Fort Jervis. In motion now. Goes Chris Stilato. He's only a freshman. And that time, Rosa is taken down hard by number 58, Pete Laverso. Port Jervis offense. Scott Spears is your quarterback. Flores and Rosa in the backfield. Sean Theodore, big-time receiver. 19 receptions for almost 300 yards. Josh Sandberg and Randy Clausen is your tight end. Up front, they average 6 feet, 215. Three seniors, two juniors, and two two-way starters in Horner and Rohner. Second down and 10. Catch to Flores. Cuts it back inside. Warwick had him strung out. He cut it back inside and picked up some good yardage. For scouting report on the Port Jervis offense, here's Greg Sirico. Port Jervis offense, an outstanding offense. They've got a great core of running backs, and their quarterback Spears does a super job. We know we really have to be conscious of Flores and Rosa uh, off tackle, and they're outside veer. So we look forward to the challenge of... Uh, a great run game by Port Jervis. And right now it is third down for Port Jervis, maybe four. And off up the middle, close to the first down marker, that's Flores. They might have to measure. Warwick is in a 4-3, or excuse me, a 5-3. Bertigliano, Reinhardt, Zernick, Kehoe, and Rivera. They average 6 feet, 191. Luciano, Gannon, and Mann are the linebackers, and Prytag, Mann, and Nikosha, yes, the two Manns are brothers, in the secondary. First and 10, first and goal for Port Jervis. Rosa couldn't get to the corner. No gain. Second down and goal. Scouting report on Warwick's defense from Bob Corvino. Uh, defensively, uh, first game they played us at a wide tackle six, even though they like to be a 5-3. Again, the middle man is Gannon, the linebacker, man to deep safety who uh, covered Shorn most in the, in the first game. Um, they're an aggressive defense, and they're tough. And it is second down and goal. Justin will talk a little bit about Warwick's defense in a second. But right now, it's Flores. Off tackle left. Inside the five, fumble, but they call Flores down. It'll be third and goal. And Justin Warwick likes to blitz a lot, but talking to Coach Sirico before the game, they're going to stay in their base defense, and we will not see a lot of blitzing for Warwick this game. That's right, because they do not want to give up any kind of big plays downfield. They want to stay home and read off the run. They want to try and stop the run, especially when Port Jervis goes off tackle. But as you can see in this drive, well executed by this offensive line. Big holes. Warwick runners aren't getting a lot of, of room to run, but they're picking up yardage little by little. Spears to pass, looking for Theodore, and he overthrows him. He had Sean Theodore open on a eat straight down and out. But he overthrew the big six foot four inch, 221 pound senior. Tough to do that, but you got to be careful who when you're throwing the ball. When Michael Mann is in the backfield, he's right on the coverage there. But you simply, a lot of time to throw the ball. Good blocking by the Port Jervis line. And just simply overthrown. Nowhere near Theodore in the corner of the end zone. Port Jervis comes to the line to try it again. Fourth and goal, and they'll go for it. Big play early on. Spears to pass. Got him. 
Reinhardt had him. Spears gets that way and scores. Touchdown, Port Jervis. Matt Reinhardt had a shot at Scott Spears behind the line. Spears able to elude Reinhardt and score from three yards out. I said got him because Spears had a man open. And all of a sudden it looked like it was the Warwick team that got him. But Spears able to show a little foot speed, a little work around the end, a tippy toe into the end zone. Matt I on to try the extra point. He is 30 of 36 this year in point after attempts. Holder is Spears. And the kick is perfect. 5.18 remaining in this first quarter. It's Port Jervis who strikes first. 